built and owned by the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution. Constitution Hall was designed in 1924 by architect John Russell Pope, original designer of the National Gallery of Art and the Jefferson Memorial. Constructed between 1928 and 1930, the hall's major purpose was to accommodate the organization's annual conference and its other gatherings. It quickly became an important performance venue, although its original policies reflected the segregated Washington of their time. It achieved full prominence as a cultural space when it became open to all performers and audiences. In recent years, a comprehensive multi-phase renovation has restored this venerable venue to its original splendor while bringing it to state-of-the-art technical standards. So DAR has a wealth of archives, archival material, and we have access to digital scans of all the original drawings done by John Russell Pope's office, as well as historic photographs that they took in 1930. So we were able to use that information to understand how to bring things back, what's existing, what's behind walls, and what's behind ceilings. One of the project's most dramatic elements involves the building's central skylight. In Pope's original design, the skylight flooded the auditorium with daylight and starlight. In 1954, the skylight was covered to minimize heat loss. To replicate Pope's lighting effects, the rehabilitation retrofitted the ceiling with individual LED panels that can mimic natural lighting both before and after sunset. We really were creating a type of light fixture which not only will function like a standard two by two lay-in fixture, but it also has a dynamic changing twinkling light effect. And it's really something that's never been done before. Rehabilitation also included restoring plaster and brass detailing throughout the hall. The existing replacement seating was replaced with seats whose upholstery was patterned after historic photographs. And new carpeting features designs that incorporate elements of the hall's historic decor. There are state seals all around the orchestra walls, and they're historic, and they're only brought out for Continental Congress one time a year. So the project also made replicas of these so that, you know, everybody could see throughout the year, you know, their state seal up on the wall. So I thought that was an interesting way to convey the mission of the organization with the general public that comes to the venue for a performance. Multiple coats of bad paint and aging of the original ceiling material, made of horsehair and canvas stretched over plaster and lath, had dulled the hall's acoustic properties. New acoustic panels covered with a high-tech fabric not only restored the hall's resonant sound, but returned the ceiling to its original coloration. Above the skylight, the building's original steel frame was shored with tensioning rods and new steel rigging beams. 83 tons of steel had to be hoisted through small openings in the ceiling. Now. Constitution Hall meets the flexibility and safety required for modern structures. This $15 million third phase renovation of Constitution Hall successfully marries modernization with historic preservation and reanimates the hall's original aesthetic vision. It's humbling really to work on iconic landmark buildings and certainly you know, you ask people around town or tell them that you're working on Constitution Hall, everybody has a story, you know. They, their parents took them there or their children graduated from high school there. And so, as well as being a real historic landmark in town, it's a place that virtually everybody has a connection to. Through careful attention to detail, the financial commitment of the DAR and the work of thousands of highly skilled architects engineers and artisans, the hall will provide a venue for diverse audiences to experience performances of all genres for generations to come.